Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss Walker, and this is Monkey the Mathematician. And we are here today. Hi, everyone. Oh, we are here today to go ahead and go through lesson number one. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we will get started. We're not going to do the whole lesson, just a couple of problems. So lesson one, this is our objective. This is what we're really focusing on trying to learn by the end of today. And you can repeat it after me. I can. Can you say I can? Awesome. I can represent addition using equations, pictures, and objects. I'll say it one more time. I can represent addition using equations, pictures, and objects. Let's jump right in. So it's, this is our first problem. So let me go ahead and get my tool to draw on here. So it says there are seven blue fish and five yellow fish in a tank. How many fish are in the tank? How can you show the problem? Well, boys and girls, let me start by telling you about a strategy I love to use with my first graders and it helps them so much. I was over here trying to make the letter C. It's called, we're gonna call it the cub strategy. C-U-B. The C, oh, let me back up a minute. This strategy is to help you when you're solving word problems. So word problems sometimes give us a lot of information and we need to figure out what am I supposed to do? So this strategy is going to help us. So the C, my friends, the C stands for circle the numbers. So that's the very first thing you're going to do. The U stands for underline the question and the B stands for box key words. So why don't we try the strategy with this first problem? So circle the numbers. All right, I'm gonna circle the seven and circle the five. Step two, underline the question. How many fish are in the tank? We're all set. Step three, box key words. Okay, hmm, there are seven blue fish and five yellow fish. That word and is giving me a clue that I'm gonna have to put these numbers together to figure out the total. So let's underline and, I'm sorry, box and. We boxed it. Now, how can you show the problem? Well, why don't we draw our work? So I'm going to start by drawing. And actually, maybe I'll use, yeah, I'll draw. So let's go ahead and start by drawing seven blue fish. Can you count to seven with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job, friends. And there are five yellow fish. So let's draw five yellow fish. One, two, three, four, five. Boys and girls, notice that my Circles are just circles. They don't look like fish. You can always draw just quick little circles to represent fish. You don't have to draw fancy pictures or fancy fish. We just want to make it easy on ourselves to try to solve the problem. So now we know there are seven blue fish and five yellow fish, and we need to figure out how many are all together. So friends, I'm going to get a different color and we're going to count. So can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. How many fish are there all together? 12, that's right. There are 12 fish all together. Great job, my friends. I'm going to go ahead and turn to the next page for us here. All right, so we know that there were seven blue fish and five yellow fish, and now we're gonna ask us some questions. So how many blue fish were there? Seven, that's right. And how many yellow fish? Five, that's right, friends. Part C, how can you write an equation to find the sum? 
Do you know what an equation is, friends? An equation can be like an addition or subtraction problem. Those are just two kinds. There's more, but it's, an, it's a problem and it, you, it has an equal sign and both sides of the equation both sides on the this on the left side of the equal sign and on the right side of the equal sign, they're always equal to each other. That is what makes an equation. So hmm, how can we write an equation to find the sum? Well, we figured out how many there were all together. How many were there? 12, that's right. So friends, we're gonna write 12. Why did I write it over there? Why did I write it here? Because the equal sign is right there. I have to write the 12 on that side of the equal sign. Now, what were the two numbers we added together? Seven and five, that's right. We know that seven plus five equals 12 or 12 equals seven plus five. Those both mean the same thing. Great job. So how many fish are there in the tank? 12. That's right, my friends. High five. Awesome. We're going to go ahead now and look at one more problem. It says there are six cats and nine more cats join them. How many cats are there now? Let's do the cup strategy. Circle the numbers, circling six, circling nine. Underline the question, how many cats are there now? Oop, my underline went funny. And um, step three, box keywords. So let's try to figure out what are the keywords here? There are six cats, nine more cats join them. Nine more join them. They join them. That means that we're gonna add these two numbers together. How can you show the problem? Well, I'm gonna use a little stamper and my little stamp will represent the cats. So there are six cats. Can you count to six with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now nine more join them. Can you count to nine with me? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome, friends. Let's go ahead and count how many cats there are now all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. How many cats are there? 15. That's right. I know that 15 is the sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. Hmm. What were the two numbers we added together? Six and nine. That's right. We added six cats plus nine, oh, nine cats, and we got 15 cats all together. So there are 15 cats now. Wow, friends, you did such a great job today. Oh, monkey's ready to do his flips. Whoa, monkey, whoa, I gotta watch out to not get hit in the face because he's so excited you did such a great job. High five. I look forward to seeing you next time.